Hello guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to get the Night Edge Melee in Roblox Arsenal, the Night Edge Advent over here, so let's get started. So in order to get the Night Edge Melee in Roblox Arsenal right here, from the Night Edge Advent right here, so I pretty much uh, make the video for a long time ago about the Night Edge right here. I The last time I made the video is about 11 months before this one. Right here I still surprised the night edge is isn't over yet it's been like 11 months before it's like you know when it's over right here but pretty much in the night edge at the event right here uh, pretty much uh, these are the knives of the from the night edge so you guys can get it right here but now the night edge has been returned with some new knife right here so pretty much the night edge melee aka the final knife for the night edge right of here has been updated and been released right here to the public so everyone can get it right here now before i say it is the night edge is hard yes it's very hard right here now there's some stats you have to do this in order to get the night edge right here so first off what you want to do in order to get the night edge melee in roblox arsenal while we here so pretty much what you want to do you want to join the game of doors right here so it's uh it's from the other game not arsenal right here just type in doors in game and pretty much you will find it and pretty much in that game you want to get the one badge you need in order to activate for the night edge right here so in order to do this you need to get the badge of the arrow right here yes the arrow of the badge in doors right here now in order to get that pretty much you just hop in into the four players uh elevator once the game starting you just have to stand here and just wait for the glitch to come out and pretty much the glitch will pop out and pretty much it will jump scale you and pretty much you will get the badge award that's it is that is the first part right here and it's very easy to do just join the game and then pretty much just wait for people just go and open doors and stuff and wait until the error comes in and pretty much you know get the badge right here so once you get the badge just leave the game and the other badge you want to get is from the facility badge right here now the facility badge you get from the is layer right here so type in is L E Y right here. I leave. I will leave uh, both games uh, link in the description of the video right here, so you guys can join it and get the badge. But pretty much, you want to join a match, and pretty much, you just have to find the facility uh, thing right here, and pretty much, you just want to add the uh, board, uh, the portal, and then pretty much the facility will open and the portal, and pretty much you get the badge or wall of the facility right here now this one is a bit harder to do this but yeah it's going to take you a lot of time to get both these badges except for the error badge that one is very easy to do now the reason why you want to activate both badges because you want to uh activate it because it won't work because if you don't do it right here so once you get both badges in both games right here pretty much go to the twitter code right here and you want to type in the code fate right here just fate like f-a-t-e right here fate and press redeem and it should be like doing something right here it should be teleport you to the some area we don't know where we gone right here so pretty much it will teleport you here and then pretty much what you want to do in this area you want to cross over this bridge right over here now this bridge is literally uh, nothing to do with it but pretty much you want to cross it and then pretty much there is going to be the code on the walls right here now the code on the walls is pretty much you have to enter the code right here now I will show you code in this video and I'm also going to leave the code in the description in the video so you guys can copy this and pretty much you can put in right here so the code for this one is going to be 118 here and then pretty much 1 here and then 0 5 here and then another 5 over here that one is 0 by the way and pretty much 1 and then 3 
and then this one is Saffron. So once you've done that code, the, the code button here is going to be disappear. And then you want to follow upstairs and pretty much you want to go to the corner of the house right here. Uh, now, why I mean corner of this house, I mean the corner of the map right here. So pretty much just go past the house and pretty much just keep going until this corner right over here. Now the reason why you want to go in this corner, pretty much you activate the code and pretty much this area is open. Now you just want to keep going straight right here, just keep going straight and you will find a small purple block at the end of the, you know, at the, um, the area right here. So yeah, so I'll be back after this uh, once I get to the purple queue or core right here. Alright, so once you get near to the purple queue, which is at the uh, corner right here, so before you press E right here, pretty much you want to copy the code in this one right here. So now it's going to be different for you guys right here, that's why you want to do this first in order to do this right here. Now this is the code for the boss fight right here, yes guys, this is for the night edge boss fight right here, this code right here. So what you want to do, you want to grab a piece of paper or a pencil right here and pretty much type in the code, uh, just write the code down and then pretty much it's your own code right here. Now if you copy my code on the screen right here, it won't work because it's not your code. Because everyone has their own code and that is the reason why you want to write down if if you want to remember right here. Now the reason why you want to remember is because you want to get into the night edge at the event right here. So in order to do that, just press E once you uh, write down the code right here. So once you press E, it should be teleporting us back to Arsenal right here. Now it should be loading in Arsenal right over here. So there we go. Okay guys, so once you load into Arsenal right here, it should teleport you right here. And pretty much what you want down, uh, what you're going to do is pretty much going to do the code again. But this time, you have to enter your profile code right here. Now if you guys don't know how you get the profile code, and pretty much go to roblox.com slash homepage right here and then pretty much go to your profile, uh, your avatar right here and pretty much go to the link and if you guys see the link right here pretty much you will see the numbers right here now you want to copy that number on your profile code right here so this is my uh, profile number right here so my number is three, uh, one three four five zero 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 nine three three. it's going to be your own profile number or else it won't work for you right here now once you've done your profile number right over here pretty much press redeem and your color should be uh, changing right here so it will says time has changed right here so pretty much it will going to teleport you to the night edge at the vent right here in a few seconds and there we go it's going to teleport you into the night edge at the vent right here Okay guys, so once you teleport into the night edge at the vent right over here, so pretty much in order to uh, one now don't deploy that right over here. Now there's few suggestions you want to uh, to turn on with right here. Now first off, you want to go to your settings and pretty much you want to turn on no texture right here. Now this will make you easy how to defeat the boss right here because you don't want your textures get in the way of your boss fight right here or else it's going to be hard for you. So make sure to turn on textures, uh, no texture right over here and change your FOV right here. Now pretty much uh, you want to change your FOV to 120 because it's going to make you run faster and it's going to help you a lot in the night edge at the vent boss fight right over here. Now set to 120 while right over here and pretty much you want to exit while right over here. So once you've done that part, pretty much you're ready for the night edge at the vent right here. And pretty much you want to go deploy and then deploy while right over here. So there we go. So now what you want to do, if you guys don't know, in the last video I showed you guys how to do this uh, this part right here. But pretty much you want to get up on the um, 
the uh, go to the cave right here. So pretty much go up this level, a uh, ladder right over here, and go to this cave area right here. Now the reason why you want to go into the cave because we have to hit that kill in order to unlock the cave uh, for the night edge right here. So hit this block right over here. Once it turns green, now go back outside of the cave right here and then pretty much you want to go into this cave right over here just sprint and jump and you should be making it right here and for this one you just want to turn everything to red right here so the reason why you want to do that i will show you the code right over here on screen right over here so what you want to do that take your gun out and pretty much it's red blue and then it's green and then it's green again and then it's red and then blue now that should be unlocking the door right over here also be uh, be careful of the sound of when you play because if you turn around when there's noise here you, you, you and pretty much you just automatically dead right here so pretty much if you hear the sound don't turn around or don't move anything right here i mean you can move but you have to move like that if you want to you know continue right here and pretty much you want to find these notes on the codes right here for the code for the doors right here now this is a three codes pretty much it's not a long code right here so it should be easy for you right here so pretty much just find these note code for unlocking this door right here so we're just going to find some of these codes right here and I was never able to find one code here okay okay if you hear that sound pretty much it's a warning right here so my code is zero and then it's going to be your own code by the way don't copy my code okay and it's zero and it's two right here so two zero and pretty much the the um the you know if you guys see the circle and the triangle and the square pretty much you want to um uh there's an order right here so pretty much you just want to google squid game card right here and pretty much those are the orders you want to do that right here so i need to find one more of these codes right here so is i think it's two zero right here two zero and then pretty much is the where's the last code so two zero uh two zero okay two zero oh okay two six zero okay my code is two six zero right here so two and then six and then zero pretty much just do that and pretty much just enter and now you're in the maze now i will put on the screen of the image of the maze so if you guys don't get lost right here but pretty much you want to follow this a uh, pink path right here and pretty much just follow it and get to the cold area right here now the cold area you want to get to the end of the maze right here now let me just do this really quick right here it's going to be a long time to do this but i will put on the two minutes mark right here i will also put the link for the image of the maze right here so you guys won't get lost right here so yeah so yeah enjoy this time while i'm doing the maze Okay guys, so once you at the end of this maze, you should find this code right over here. So this is a, a little bit keypad right over here, and pretty much you want to enter this code right here in order to unlock this secret area. So the code is 3, 0, and then 9, and then 5, and then 2, and then pretty much a 0, and then pretty much a 4, and then 8. 9, 
7. I also going to copy the code in the video description right over here. So pretty much once you've done this code over here, just press green and then it should say OK right here. So what you want to do, you want to go back to the beginning of the maze right here. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you have to go back to the beginning of the maze. Now it's going to take you another few minutes right here if you don't get lost right over here. So yeah, so time lapse. Okay guys, so once you go back to uh, the beginning of the area, pretty much you want to follow me where I go right here. So pretty much you want to go to that area, pretty much this was used to be blocked, but now we can go over here. Now you want to go through this long corridor right here, and make sure be careful not to turn around so fast, because that sound pretty much it will instantly kill you whatever it was. And then pretty much you just want to keep uh, running and then pretty much go over to this corridor right here now this corridor is very 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 long right here so yeah i just going to run over here and then run over here hopefully it doesn't get me and there we go and we just keep running and if you guys can see at the end right here once you go down pretty much you will go into the white room right here now this room will have a keypad right here so what you want to do you want to uh copy the code once you get the uh, from the fake uh code right here so if you guys don't know this is the sixth code right over here so if you enter the code and press right here it should be teleporting to your boss right over here so my code is five and then three and then nine and then six one and then six now be uh be ready if you press right here because you just get instantly teleport and pretty much the boss will summon right here so pretty much just hit it and then hold your gun out right here uh prepare right here because this boss is very hard okay there we go okay you're using the gun right here uh i don't think i can peek right here oh my god this is hard to peek okay 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 Okay. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't have enough Im ammo right here. Oh my gosh, he's right there. Oh my gosh, I got hit. It's so hard to pick right here. Oh my gosh, shoot. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just in time, okay. Okay. This is gonna be hard. There we go. Boy hits. Okay. Can I peek? I mean, I can hit a bit right here. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We low low. Oh my goodness. Dude, this is so intense right here. This boss is hard. Okay, hide this. Oh my gosh. Dude, how did he get me? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. I'm safe. 
Yeah, I don't think I can pick what right heal. Okay. Okay, I can pick a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, it's hard to pick. Okay, okay, we low, we low. I need to reload. Dude, it's gonna give. Hitting him on you. Oh my god, he's so fast. Okay. Oh my god, he's right there. Oh my gosh. Okay, he has to. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Oh my gosh, dude, he's run so fast. Oh my gosh. I mean, I can hit a couple of times. Oh my gosh. Do 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 do. Oh my gosh, dude. How is it pop? Is it possible? Dude, there's no way. What? There's no way he's so fast. Oh my gosh, dude. So yeah, pretty much you have to defeat this boss right here. And this one boss is literally the one of the hardest in Arsenal right here. Like it's so fast I cannot react, dude. Oh my god, so pretty much you want to uh, kill this boss right here And then pretty much once you kill it, it should be teleport you back in Arsenal right here So if you die in this boss, pretty much you have to try again So you don't have to do the coding because you already write down the note for the fade right here So pretty much what you want to do is pretty much you can go back to the night edge at the vent And pretty much do it over again and then pretty much put in the code and then Pretty much you want to defeat this boss while you can in order to get the night edge right here Now this is one of the hardest medic getting on in the night edge ever Because I don't know if you can beat it right here So pretty much I would say it would be harder than the, the dark heart itself Because the dark heart is more harder than the rest of them And pretty much the night edge is so hard to get because the boss keeps literally speed up right here so yeah, so that's how you get the Night Edge at the vent in Roblox Arsenal over here. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. 
so yeah so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also comment down below what you think about this on um, on how to get the night edge at the vent uh, pretty much a night edge melee right here now i would say it would be too difficult if you're not a very pro aim right here now if you literally try to do this pretty much it's going to take you like an hour or many tries to beat it so yeah it's going to take me a long time to beat it because i cannot even get to the you know half of his hp right here so yeah so that's pretty much it for today's video right here i hope you guys enjoy it so thank you guys so much for watching and i see you guys in the next one Goodbye.